Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Uh, today's date is September the 3rd, 2019. It's Tuesday. And what is happening with the hurricane? Hurricane Dorian, oh my gosh, it's still creating a bunch of havoc. Thanks everybody out there for subscribing to my channel, giving these videos thumbs ups. I cannot thank you enough for your support. Also, those of you who are shopping on Redbubble to get Traveling with Bruce merchandise and on my Amazon affiliate link to buy anything on Amazon, thank you for your support of this channel. Look at the path of this hurricane. It is moving at one mile an hour right now to the northwest and it's just tearing the Bahamas apart. You can see here the heaviest winds in purple that are expected in the next couple of days and then the hurricane speeds up finally and takes off all the way up to Nova Scotia in Canada. Take a look at where all the cruise ships are. You can tell where the center of the hurricane is. Uh, it's right there. Uh, the ships are all around it. There are no cruise ships anywhere near this hurricane and passengers are completely safe. They may not be able to go back to their port, but they're safe. Here is where the Disney Castaway K resort is and here is where the uh, coco key is uh, as well and they were impacted uh, we're waiting for final reports the next system to come look at this one right here the one i've been talking about it's been brewing it's 90 percent certain it's going to become a hurricane we just don't know where it's going we'll be watching that one over the next four or five days as well so the fun is not over yet here's a shot of castaway key this was the area closest to the eye of the hurricane. And you can certainly see by these shots right here how surrounded by water they are and how low-lying and marshy the land usually is. So we're going to find out uh, from Disney in the next couple of days just how bad it got. Over here at uh, Coco Key, same thing. Low-lying island, uh, surrounded, of course, by water. The uh, storm surge is probably the biggest problem here, not necessarily the winds. We're going to find out uh, from Royal Caribbean in the next few days what the status of this uh, resort will be. Other news, Grandeur of the Seas. They canceled their cruise on Saturday, a half an hour after loading 2,500 passengers on this ship. They kept them overnight, and then off they went. The ship is now in, in the water. It's back in, uh, in, in moving, but it's not, and I repeat, not going to look like this. It's not going anywhere near a storm. It's just out in the water. And it's going to be moved out of the way until the storm passes. So we'll keep an eye on Hurricane Dorian over the next several days while she slowly ramps back up and gets out of here. And hopefully she won't cause any more havoc along the coast of Florida. Right now the uh, ports Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Canaveral are all shut down. And we'll stay on top of this story. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel today. Hit the bell notification icon. If you like the video, give her a thumbs up and become a member of the sponsor membership group. And we'll talk to you later, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye for now.